Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one knowing how all my adventures are doing. Welcome back to another episode of Grand Fantasia. So we finished Perry Dungeon. You know, it's funny. I now see a lot more players. <laughs> and a lot more newer players, too, starting up. Which is very interesting. I'm happy to see that. It's not because of me, either. <laughs> But I barely see people on the U.S. channel. That's the thing that got me kind of puzzled. So I started seeing a lot more people. Interesting. But yeah, I'll also explain the next thing. I've been spending so much time and all of my money upping my sprites. So... I now have my Archer Sprite and my Sword Sprite. They all start off at 21. And just catching these guys up to my level and the next level took about 18 of my gold to do. Which gold is very easy to like go by. Well, come by if you actually like do dungeons and you know. Just questing in general. It's not it's not too hard. You start to collect a lot over time. But um Yeah. These are almost fully maxed for like their uh for like getting rid of them. I'm gonna teach you guys how to get rid of them later. The only reason I haven't made new tutorials right now is because I'm gathering everything up to make those tutorials. Then I'll make part two of you know, start a guide. As of right now, um, come to this. Come to the uh, class right here. And he actually sells 21 sprites. There aren't any other way. Well, vendors that do this. There's altars that do this. And I will explain that in the starter guide too. So the more I get, you know further in the game the more I can do like all the starter stuff so as you can see they have the, the sprites that you can actually pick up in the starting areas and then they have the level 21 sprites that you can get now like I said you have up to six slots you don't have to fill all of them out. You can if you want to. If you're missing like a certain thing that it needs. Like sound sprites that have terrible layouts. Um, the hunting sprite. Well, the archer equipment sprite does not have hunting. Which it needs. Instead it has foraging in the place of that hunting. So that sucks. So that's why I have the sword sprite that has hunting and the sword sprite is something I still need. But if there's times to where you you might not have sprites that have hunting. So I would recommend picking up an extra sprite that has hunting. So you'll probably have up to four. It really depends. So keep an eye on what you're so yeah, keep an eye on what you need. Why is that grayed out? Oh, it's because I don't have any code. I was about to say, excuse me. Alright, so our next objective is Sprite Forest. Sprite Forest will be all the way down here. Also, finally got a recommendation that at least one person wants to see longer videos and treat this as a fresh guide. So I didn't bother editing the Perry Cave video. I didn't expect Perry Cave to take that long, honestly. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. But then again, I got to remember I'm playing a new, cat, new class that I'm not familiar with. So I'm happy to learn that. But from what I've seen about like archer skills and everything, it has a lot of charge abilities. 
It has a crap ton of charge abilities, but it also has a lot of really good abilities towards Ranger. And if you guys are familiar with, uh, if you're more familiar with WoW terms, it even has a target dummy, which is weird. I've never seen a character that has a target, well, an archer that has target dummy. So now I'm kind of wondering, is that new? I mean, it only lasts for like five seconds, and five seconds is all you need to get away and just pump damage into it because it taunts every 0 0.5 seconds. And it's kind of like, does that take taunt and threat away from my tank? That's an issue that I want to find out. Okay. You're in Sprite Forest. Please stop changing. <gasps> stop changing my stuff. Yeah, the hiccup. My soul. But yeah, this is the quest that leads into Sprite Forest. I can hide all these. It'll also give me some gold as well, so I can finish my sword. Uh, I'm preparing my gear for the next milestone, which is level 31. So I'm getting all my level 28 to 31 gear. This is just things I'm going to do off video for like sprites. I will tell, tell you this. It took me about two hours to get that sprite. Well, to get my... What is this? What's the lowest here? My level 17? Yeah, 17 to 21 gear. So my level 21 gear. And if you guys want to know the trait of it, it just gives me plus one agility and increases the damage of armor cutter shot, which is the armor break we have here. That was already doing, you know, good amount of damage. So your sprite gear is going to be targeted towards your actual character every time. So this is what I'm building now, which gives me 20% hit chance, four points into agility and 45% crit damage. The 45% crit damage is kind of useless for me, but that hit chance is fucking great because we've seen how much my character missed shots. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to start collecting the quests that are in this area and get them done. There is a knowing quest in this area that does get on my nerves. And it is find a certain dude that's in here. And he sometimes doesn't pop up. <laughs> sometimes. Which makes him kind of a nuisance. I think this is the quest, actually. Okay, so where is everybody at? Okay. Well, I chased a pistol or rifle just to see how it, how it uh, plays. And I learned that Ranger has two stances. It has skills that rely on bow and it has skills that rely on musket. So you pretty much got to choose which one that you uh, want to use. And I will say this, I feel like, is this the Fox Leader up here? Yeah, the Fox Leader. Do you have any quests? But I feel like the bows are a lot better towards like, you know, actually being safer because there's some that slow the enemy there's some okay that's one of the trash quests but there's some bows that that slow the enemy there's some bows that hold on let me just show it instead if you ever want to know what gear your character can use just come in here there's some that are accuracy and damage then again then there's the firearms, which are just more in damage, except for this one. This one ain't that. Um, then we have triple shot and retreat. This is basically like a forced fear. And it's 20%, which is insane. 
first off. Then we have damage. Firearm is all about damage. My bow is all about keeping you safe. Bow is better for soloing. I would say. Just because it doesn't cause any inconvenience to your teammates. <laughs> of getting an enemy feared. So yeah. Keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do these quests. I say we don't really have much in this area, but this will give me to, well, supposedly it's supposed to get me to twenty four. I should be here right now, but it's fine. Oh God, this is the warden press. I got. Oh no. I'm able to do damage now. Oh, wait. Oh, that was the warden. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the name. She also has a quest. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of XP from that. To be honest, it used to... It used to only give me like a small chunk, but ever since the little quest update they did, it, it's it's so much better. Oh wait, is that the? Oh yeah, it's you guys. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Thought you automatically changed. Oh, that's cannon. I bought the wrong damn ammo. Because of course I would. That's fine. There's a... There's a vendor here. Ooh. Hello? What is this quest? Okay, that's. This is the transition quest to Perry. Not Perry, uh, the plains. No, not the plains. <laughs> the plateau. <laughs> My brain. Okay, so we can save that quest. I had to kind of skip that part or kind of be quiet so I can know where to cut this out because my little brother started screaming like a nut for no reason. All right. So cannon ammo is for artillery. I didn't know that. I mean, they look like bullets. Wait, can you not sell them? Oh. I think because they're currently equipped, right? No, apparently you can't sell that one that's just sitting there. Thanks, game. There we go. Alright, so... Next, 
we got to I guess collect the little fruit things which I'm pretty sure they're in this area I also don't like how the muskets look some of the muskets look dope this one does not that one does not bring me joy Uh, the Bricklays, are you guys the one to drop these quests? Okay, no, it's not you. It is like fruit that's like around. Where are they? Is the real question. Because I don't have a quest notice for this. This is some of the quests that you'll see that don't actually have have like info sometimes and it's very annoying I remember correctly there's some yellow fruit that's around here Either that or I'm thinking of the wrong quest. And I hope I'm not thinking of the wrong quest because that would suck. Either that or these are the ones that actually just drop instead of gray bags. Okay. One more quest and I should be level 25. Hold on. You. Yep, okay. They dropped this out of gray bags. That's what it is. Yep. <laughs> so, 9 out of 10, if you see that, they... If you see no location or anything, it normally drops from bags. From gray bags. Is it just you guys or is it all of them? Okay, it's all of them. Gray bags are worse because they they have a lower drop rate drop rates than the quest items. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Get some of my sprite. And we'll do it that way. My sprite will go pick up everything. That now does 70 damage. Didn't it do like 40 or 60? It's a little bit of an increase. Okay, we just need one more. Is this it? <sighs> Go get that one. Okay, dude. It's starting to piss me off, bro. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah, like I said, those I those quests are a lot more annoying. But we're level 25. I do hope I'm level 28 by the end of this video. I could put on a lot of gear. 
Um, I also need to do Condemned Dungeon whenever that shows up. Condemned Mines. And I don't think that's going to show up for a while. Uh, is this another quest that's in here? I think it is. The rest of these are PvP related. And I don't care about those. Okay, yeah, this is... This is a quest for this area. So I also have to go back and do those. Oh, that's a chain quest as well. Uh, this one's closer. Let's do this one. I'm not gonna get much XP on... on killing monsters, because... I outlevel them. By a lot. And they're in the green, and once they're in the green, they give significantly less XP. Like, basically no XP at all for me, but XP for my gear, apparently. Oh, these are the plants I was thinking of that dropped it. I might have to deal with those in a few seconds, maybe, for next quest. Uh, let's go ahead and put my my mountain here so we can auto use that when going to quests. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of stuff to sell anyway. Uh, this is for Sprite Islands, by the way, for cooking. You can technically throw these away because they're going to show up a lot. And I mean a freaking lot. Ah, this is the... This is the wrong thing I was looking for. That's for reincarnation stuff. Ah, come here. I need to sell quite a few things. I need as much gold and stuff as possible. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of this. Oh, wait. No, don't get rid of that. Um, we're going to scavenge it because I still need another essence. Mysterious essence from it. So go get that. Angelo is also in the next area. So that's kind of annoying because I'm going to have to come back here after I even touch Ancient Forest, right? Pretty sure it's Ancient Forest. I can't see it because it's up here. No, it's not Ancient Forest. It's, uh... No, this quest is an Ancient Forest. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. That means I have to travel quite a bit. But, on the bright side, it just gave me my stuff I need for my hat for next level. So now I gotta go get something from the officers? Okay. We can do that. I'm a little bit all over the place when it comes to my questing. I so you guys can do the quests in whatever order you want. If you wanna do all the quests in like one go. Like just finish a chain, then go to the next chain, then go to the next chain. You can. Meaning you're gonna be traveling a lot. Back and forth. Okay, so now I got that done. I'm happy. Now my chest is the only thing I need. 
And my chest doesn't have the items I need, unfortunately. Maybe this will give me the stuff I need, please. Because I need these. Okay, I have one of them, at least. This is a cat eye, right? I can get rid of this. 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 Oh, I probably could have sold those, but eh. They wouldn't get much. So my quest items really depend... It really depends on what I get out of those uh, chests. Really depends on what I get out of those chests. Yeah, I need two more. Ugh. Then my level 31 set is done. That's also another reason why I hate using <laughs> using the rifle because it has two different animations and it really depends on what animation you get. If they do the one-handed animation, that takes a lot longer. If they just do the aiming animation, that's that's quick. I hate that <laughs> I hate that this class with the gun has two different animations. If you guys are also wondering the whole bring quest, it's this. Bring it on quest is the daily quest that gives you XP for killing a certain amount of enemies that are within at least three levels of you. So as long as they have a white name, it will go up. Because that's also another reason why I don't like using uh, the firearms. And why I just prefer the bows. The bows just seem a lot easier to deal with. But if you want, but like I said, if you want damage, then firearm is the way to go. So ability solo, those. Turn this thing. Oh shit. Oh, okay. I can go into Kadim now. Condemn Mines is level 26. Uh, let me finish up this area before I even think about going to Condemn Mines. Condemn Mines is also where capes are introduced. Also, you can get your first level 21 cape. Uh, this quest line should be wrapped up after I kill this boss. Did it give me no ah uh, it didn't give me what I was looking for that sucks man come on give me my earth essence I mean condemn mind I think still gives earth's earth essence right let's see if you guys ever want to see what bosses you'll go up against fame well history is the best place to look at that you can also see what bosses drop and stuff like that as well.
I think I already discussed that inside of uh, the tutorial. Well, the guide. Now that I actually have my swords, I have less to fear. <laughs> hey, aren't one of my swords level 26? No. Uh, but I can make my next sword with the money I've gathered so far. Uh, so we need that. And we can make the green wave sword. Which I can use at level 28. And my bow should be just fine right now. Crafting does get a lot more expensive. I will tell you this. Getting up to level 50 on these sprites is easy. It's slight work. It's past level 50, which is a nightmare. Level 50 to 60 on a sprite will take probably four hours. Or six. It takes multiple days at that point. So if you guys don't see me uploading for the multiple days. It's probably because I'm dealing with my sprites. <laughs> and it is hell and chaos. Okay, it shouldn't take you that long to make the sword. You fell that? Wasn't it 100%? It says a hundred percent. How did you fail that? Okay, so this is a lie. This is a complete lie up here. Okay, noted. That does that doesn't mean shit, apparently. That this is all a fucking lie. Huh. Thanks, game. All right, now I need one more. One more essence. That's annoying. Not gonna lie to you, dude. I'm kind of tilted. Very, very tilted. Quite a bit. That's stupid. Then we really don't know what the percentage is for crafting these weapons. If it fell off 100%. Like, what the f... Okay, dude. Alright, I'm gonna need everybody to gather more rocks for this sword again. Because that was pretty dumb. Let's see, there are bears here, right? Oh, no, it's from you guys. I need one more. Oh, wrong one. Oh, there it is.
Now I need honey bears. Which are all the way down here. Uh, this is an, also another dungeon. But that's like way further along. I forgot what level it is. Walk over it. Okay, so I can remake the sword whenever you bring back one more bone. That still throws me off. I I did not expect that. And happiness and mood doesn't affect productivity level. Does it? No, it always just increases XP, right? I don't think it does, but... Well, just in case I get some event, I can just do this. Up, oh, server line. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, servers. You got it. Thank you. Oh my god, this is another quest that is outside of this. I gotta go. I gotta go to jail. Ah. All right, traveling. This is now becoming a thing. Oh, yeah, I gotta get this portal. Uh, the teleporters, anytime you get into a new area, activate them. Because you can teleport back to them. Duh. Anywho, jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go remake my damn sword that you wasted. Pretty sure there's a skill that's. 26, right? Yeah. We're almost done with this. I don't know what I'm going to do here, because I kind of want to save dungeon videos for, like, separate different videos. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I swear to God, if you fail this sword, I'm going to choke you. Is this not the Steam Mountains? Did it not say Steam Mountains? Oh, I have to go to Red Ridge, you dicks. You're about to flood me with quests that I don't need. That's the thing I don't like. As soon as you enter that area, there's a whole quest line that just, just comes into play. I could do them. I really could. But like I said before, I want to save all those quests. For reincarnation. Oh yeah, even if an enemy misses an attack, it still has the chance to put that debuff on you. Just want that to be known. It is annoying as shit. So evasion really doesn't... So evading attacks really doesn't give a shit when it comes to debuffs. Not fun. <laughs> 
I also fixed my uh my model's tracking. I noticed that it was very off the last time uh the last video. So I actually fixed the lip syncing and the eye tracking. I'm wearing glasses, by the way, so it's kind of harder. It's a lot harder to uh, make videos. Well, it's a lot harder to get VTube Studio working because my glasses have glare. They're also scratched up now, so I mean, I can still see perfectly fine. But I might have to get some new glasses down the road or at least get the lens replaced. Which really shouldn't be too much trouble, so. Really not worried about it right now. Since they're not broke, broken or anything. I'm more of a person that likes to sit and die on that hill. Until the worst happens. <laughs> okay, so this one is inside of Moonlight Forest. Go past Moonlight Forest. I'm going to show you all how to get to these places and how to finish these quests. If you guys ever go through the route that I'm going through. Oh, seems like I've already been in Ancient Forest. Have I? But anywho, um, if you are in Moonlight Forest, from here, you walk all the way, I think it's here, right? Yeah. You walk all the way here. It's down here. I believe one of these, yeah, avoid this. <laughs> yeah, avoid these two. These two are high level places. Moonlight Forest actually leads to a lot of high level places. Moonlight Forest itself is kind of hiddenly, kind of secretly high level. The reason I say that is because they have a lot of high level things in here. Because you'll need to come here just for uh, Nightmare Corridor if you're going to make your red gear or your level 100 gear. This is the main place to get it. <laughs> and I'm going to prepare you now. It's going to be horrifying of how much time that actually takes. Here's the annoying part with coming into like, new areas. You start getting flooded with these these quests so you honestly start to just not know which quest is you know what quest you need i mean you could just accept them and just be like what quest is this oh this is ancient forest aboard server busy ah oh my god server you good Hello? Oh my god. You guys can't can't see this. Server busy. The servers are giving the fuck up right now. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, brother. I think because a lot more players are on right now. Servers are kind of dying. <laughs> but then again... Nah, it hasn't been the maintenance. I'm not saying most of the time after a maintenance, the game just, you know, has a lot of issues. <laughs> That's after a maintenance, though. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna need you to quit changing my quest. Thank you. Now we go to go fight this uh, leopard. I'm looking forward to level 40 though. Level 40 is when I get my uh, my panther. Oh, it's a tiger technically, I guess. You know, they're saber tooths for sure. Saber tooth tigers. I guess still tiger. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Still tiger. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot it transforms you into this. 
You can still use your skills. Like I said, positioning is a thing. Because if I hit him into this tree, I actually get nothing out of that. You can also transform back. You can get out a lot of transformations if you just use your mount. So if you ever find yourself inside of the... Uh, claiming a black sprite chest and it transforms you. There's two things the black sprite chest does. It either transform you or give you a lot of your mana and HP back. Which most of the time, it'll just... It'll just fully bring back all your HP and mana. Excuse me. Jeez. I'm gassy today. Oh, I missed this uh, mysterious dude over here. We're going to ignore this one because this one's a repeat quest. I kind of do want to come over here and check Ancient Vines and see what level it is. Because normally if you run into the gate, it will tell you what level it will uh, let you in. Oh, Clark isn't on there. Oh yeah, because Clark is next map. I keep forgetting that. So it seems like I only have one more quest line if this guy doesn't give an actual like quest line I need. Okay, no, they're all repeat quests. This is the last quest. Oh no, there's another quest over here. It's kind of crazy how excited I get to do these things. Into a um, sprite equipment comes into play. I'm very high, happy until the sprite equipment comes into play. Wait. Uh, okay, you have two other quests. I can start collecting everything here, though. I thought about it, I was say. Normally, I just don't collect for, like, the first few areas. Past this point, I can collect everything. Everything becomes useful. Does this drop anything I need? Mysterious Destiny. Is that a quest or something? Oh, it doesn't have any dialogue to it. What the... Okay. Alright, brother. The f <laughs> Yeah, and this quest takes us all the, back, all the way back because of that uh, fruit quest. And we've seen the fantasy fruit there. That little yellow fruit that we have to find. Oh. Uh, elite. Map Elite. Don't think Map Elites are weak. Map Elites can definitely take you out. If you... Ooh, I forgot. Is this... Is this the map to where he roams around? I'm pretty sure. Huh, I guess it's the wrong map. No, I don't think so. There's a world boss that spawns here. It's like a giant lion. Mech lion. Mech looking lion. It's either here or a different area. I'm pretty sure it's in Sprite Forest. Be careful of that. There's a lot of world bosses that spawn. You 
And you can't solo them. Uh, okay, level 60. So we'll be back here at level 60. Now, like I said, uh, earlier videos, or earlier video, I think that was like part two. Um, playing with a duo is going to cut down a lot of your time towards like kill quests. When it comes to like item collecting quests, that's a whole different story. But here's also another thing. Um, kill per second is XP per second which levels you up a lot faster when you're in an actual party. Uh, a lot of people did this for like a different map, which is like a different expansion. It's called the alternate dimension. Instead of alternate dimensions, there's alternate like areas of here. So there's alternate um, moonlight forests. And most people would group up just for that XP per second if they were just like grinding all the way up to level 100. But to be honest, now that they fix a lot of the earlier questing, I feel like, well, they fixed it all the way up into level 85. Our journey to 85 might be very smooth for a while. Then we got to see what the XP is looking like at level 85. Well, starting to grind after level 85. I mean, they have a lot of quests that are level 100. That's the thing. They have a lot of quests that are level 100. Now, reincarnation, on the other hand. Oh, whoops. I walked past that. But reincarnation, on the other hand, is a different story. Because you'll start getting on the main quest. And the main quest itself, I don't think you'll be able to, like, redo it. During reincarnation. So you, as soon as you hit level 100, reincarnate. Either that, or you can, um... Either that, or you can max out your masteries. I mean, that's also a thing. People normally max out their mastery before they restart. Just to have a smoother, smoother transition. Oh, here's one. Uh, let's see. Did I get... Please tell me. Yes, okay. I got it. Um, but now that I know... Oh, nope. That is not it. You gave me Sky, didn't you? No, you gave me Energy. Oh my gosh, you dick. I just needed one more you gave me energy instead oh yeah we do have repeat quests that's also a thing uh you can sell these um there is there is a repeat quest that a lot of people farm and sell in the market just, I guess, guess another reference to WoW. It's mostly just, the only reason I'm referencing WoW so much is just because I've been watching Soda Pop and his little Ray thing that they, that him and Ms. Kiff came up with. Um, they pretty much have, like, this quest of, like, troll teeth. 
necklaces and stuff like that. I think that's what they're called. We basically have the same thing, but it's fish man teeth that sell. And here's the thing about these. You cannot use them, I think, past like level... Around like level 63. And also, it has a quest line. If you miss that quest line, you cannot use any of those necklaces. Doesn't matter what you think, you, you can't use any of them. So it's a quest line you have to actually do once you get to the appropriate level to where you can use them. It sucks, yes, but you know, it's something that's unavoidable. What? You dick. Game, please. For the love of God. Please. No more. Am I going up again? Yes. I'm going all the way back. Great. Fantastic. You gotta, you gotta love to see <laughs> so much traveling. I mean, the quest is in um, Twin, I think. Or is it inside of here? I think it's inside of Twin. And it is... I remember who it is. I just don't remember where. Oh, it's Demon Hunter Chase. I believe. Right here. I'm pretty sure it's Demon Hunter Chase. It's one of the Demon Hunters. Yeah, here it is. Because this is the village that you farm them at. As soon as you hit level 60 around there, go to Demon Hunter Chase. And finish... Well, finish all the quests here inside of a... Twin, and then they'll give you a quest to Demon Hunter Chase. Then you can start using those necklaces up to up into a certain like cap. I don't remember what the cap is. There's only so much you can do of it before it caps you out and tells you to just fuck off with the rest of it. So don't overbuy if you're gonna do that. Most of those like huge pals or like stacks of 20 no 250 and i would say buying two of them would suffice depending on what level you're at i mean we're not gonna buy them because they they're they're very high they're like three thousand most people sell them for three thousand Another enemy over here is the purple ones, right? Yep, there he is. Alright, so this one should have a boss too. Then we can start getting ready for Kadim Mines. Like I said, for condemned mines, should be pretty easy. It's up into sunken fortress where the true, t where the true troubles begin. Then the game becomes not fun for anybody who is melee. That is, sunken fortress is a fucking headache if you're melee. have to be in range of a lot of enemies. That's mostly because they have these little orbs that deal magic damage that chunk you for so much. And most of you guys gotta go into a group of four of those and start getting annihilated. <laughs> Why well, as an archer I can range it. The only thing that's gonna be troublesome for me to deal with <sighs> the only thing that's gonna be trouble for me to deal with is the final boss. 
the final boss is going to be annoying because a lot of the bosses inside of Sunken Fortress have reflection damage as an ability. You know, an active ability that they actually use instead of a passive, which I'm happy about that. You know, I prefer a boss being able to use an ability that does reflection instead of a boss that's full on reflection reflection damage passive. I'll always keep complaining about that. It it just makes no sense. Out of all X Legend games, Grand Fantasia's whole in game is reflection damage. It makes no sense. I'm just saying, bro, it just makes no sense. I say I played a War Kingdom, got to end game pretty easy, didn't have to deal with reflection damage. I played Twin Saga to near end game and didn't have to deal with reflection damage. Just lots of damage and interesting mechanics. I played Dragon Ball Hunter. Did not deal with reflecting damage. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to go back to uh, Oz. Talk to Jessica. You'll be able to like remember NPCs' names very easy, very easily, just because most of them have unique names for other quests. There aren't any like repeat names. So you'll instantly know who it is for a while. So now I gotta go fight that boss that is in that fortress. Which scorpion is that? The purple one? Oh no, that's the Bissel. The one I have. It sucks that the Bissel has 70% movement speed. Why the other ones have a hundred? Still find that kind of stupid. Stop it. Oh, that's why. Freaking show is on. I said I'll remember putting Showtime events on. I don't care about those. Alright, so it seems like this area also took us an hour and get us get us up to 27. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm not sure how much XP this was going to give us. Probably like three bars, three or two bars. I hope it is at least four. Remember, be careful what you're challenging in the outside world. Anything that outlevels you, <laughs> it's probably not the smartest thing to fight in the outside world. Because, like I said, you get punished for dying. If you die, you lose a bar. Then that's just. A quest wasted. Gravitation is very, very punishing towards people who don't know what they're doing. No, it just it just takes some time. Like I said before, no need to rush it. I think the reason that this class has so many charge abilities is because of this skill. It has a chance of giving a charge every time you do an attack. Well, do an ability is what I should say. Okay, now we gotta go back to Jessica. 
turn in this quest. I would love to be level 28 right now, though. That'd be great. Still gotta go to Dash, Oz, and other dudes, but let's see. I guess we could talk about their quests. Okay, so one is in the plateau. Next one's in Southern Island. And the next one is in Dark Swamp. Well, Black Swamp. Easy to get to. So. Black Swamp is right over here. Plateau, right here. And Southern Island, right here. So those are the main places where you're going to go and collect these quests. I think after here, they don't explain that there's other quests for the next dungeon, which I think is Holy... Holy... Mall or something like that? Hold up. It's in one of these areas. But I can't really see it. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. But yeah, just to let you guys know, the wiki is your friend when it comes to like getting dungeons and quests. Okay, I got a little bit of go back. Oh my god, they gave me another freaking... Dude, I don't need this one. Give me the other one. Oh my god, they gave me another one instantly. Dude, these chests are griefing me. I just need one more for my chest, dude. Oh, shit. I just realized, yeah, we're almost level 28. Uh, we're going to have to go get those quests in the next video. So, with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed us uh, getting through that. Uh, we started at level 24 and ended at 27. So... So three levels, not too bad, just for that one area. We have much more to do, and I have a feeling that we're going to level a lot inside of the next quest, but it's also going to send us on our, it's also going to send us on our class quest, which is no more talking to people. We actually have to like actually fight certain things and do stuff. For our quest. Our journey to Ranger begins next video. As soon as I hit level 30, I will leave that dungeon and come back to it. Which really shouldn't take too long. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. That actually didn't take all that long as I thought it would. Stay alive Until